hello so today I'm going to try to prove the law of cosine and we know how to do the Pythagorean theorem for any right triangle but we don't know how to deal with a triangle that isn't a right triangle so I'm gonna show you today so right here I just have a normal scalene triangle and I'm gonna name each point so this is point A this is point B and this is point C. Now we also know that this is angle A, this is angle B, and this is angle C. And as for the sides, each angle has a corresponding side. So angle A, its corresponding side is opposite the angle. So this would be side C, this would be little a obviously, and this would be little c, and this would be little b. Okay. So what we're going to do right now to try to make this a little easier to visualize is we're going to put this triangle on the coordinate system. So just an x, y coordinate. So here's the x and here's the y. Here, let me move this. Okay. So now that we have our triangle, what can we do to make this a little easier to deal with? So one thing we can do is we can drop a line right through angle B down through the middle of the triangle creating two different right triangles. So there's this right triangle and there's this one right here. So yeah, this is perpendicular. And so what we're going to do right now is we're going to start looking at the first triangle. And using what we know about the Pythagorean theorem, we can we know that c squared equals this right here. This right here is x of b because this is point b and this is its x. And this right here is y of b. So we know that c squared equals x of b b squared plus y of b squared. So moving on in this triangle, let's look at angle A. So we know from Sokotoa that the cosine of an angle is the, op is the adjacent over the hypotenuse and the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. So what's the cosine of A? Cosine of A we know is x of b, which is the adjacent, divided by c, which is the hypotenuse. So the cosine of A is x of B divided by C. And the sine of A is the opposite over hypotenuse, so that would be y of B divided by C. Okay, so now that we have these two things, let's solve, let's isolate x of B and y of B. So we know that x of B equals, multiply by c on both sides, c times cosine of a, and we know that y of b, let's do the same thing, equals c times sine of a. Okay, so now that we have this, let's start looking at the other triangle, the second triangle. What is, how do we find a? Well, we can also use the Pythagorean theorem, and we know that a squared equals this side squared plus this side squared. So we know that a squared equals this side right here, this small amount right here. What is that? That is really this whole amount minus this amount. And this whole amount would be x of c minus x of b squared, and then we have this one, which we know is y of b squared. So this is how we find a squared, which is the Pythagorean theorem. Next, we can go back to what we found right here, and we know that x of b is c times cosine of a, and we know that y of b is c times sine of a. So let's isol let's substitute that for x of b and y of b. So now a squared equals x of c minus c times cosine of a 
all this squared, this is this term right here, plus c times sine of a squared. Okay? So now once we have this, we can look at x of c. So what is x of c? x of c is this whole distance right here. But as we conveniently see right here, this is opposite, this side is opposite of angle B, which makes it angle C. So let's substitute X of C for B. So A squared equals B minus C times cosine of A squared plus C times sine of A squared. Okay? So now we're going a little bit further with this. I know it looks hard, but it's getting a little bit easier to understand now. So now what we have is, since you know, you know, a minus b squared, this is essentially what this is, a minus b squared is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So let's do what we, let's do this here. So we know that this would be b squared, actually b squared, yeah. Um, minus 2 times b times this whole thing, c times cosine of a, plus c times cosine of a squared. And then not to forget this part, c times sine of a squared. Okay, so... Now that we have these two little terms, these two next to each other, what can we do about these two? Well, we know that c times cosine of a is x of b, which is this. And we know that <coughs> c times sine of a is y of b, which is this. So this squared plus this squared equals c squared. So we can replace this whole term by c squared. And we can do this by seeing that x of b squared plus y of b squared equals c squared using the Pythagorean theorem. So let's write it down. Minus 2bc times cosine of a equal, I mean, plus this 2, again, c squared. I mean, yeah, c squared, okay? So now that we have this, we basically have our formula. We can just move around the different terms, and what the formula tells us, how it's written in the real world, is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times cosine of a. And so you see that cosine of the angle A is corresponding with side A. And this is our formula. We've solved it. Even though it looks hard, now we know what it is. And this is how you prove the law of cosine.